Oh boy, I cannot wait to cook a Thanksgiving dinner. Even though Thanksgiving is still, uh, mm, let's see, uh, a few weeks away. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't know how to cook anything. Oh man, if only there was a way to cook a Thanksgiving dinner. Somebody please help me. Do you want to cook a delicious Thanksgiving dinner for your family? Who said that? I think we have ghosts in the house. <laughs> um, okay. Hey you! Are you tired of not knowing how to cook a proper meal? Are you tired of watching misleading tutorials? Why did I think to do that? Oh, that was a very helpful tutorial. Well, no more, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect Thanksgiving meal that is gonna be absolutely delicious for everyone in your family. Uh, well, you know, this food is actually Um, uh, he, he's fine. Uh, yeah, he, he's fine. Um, so I won't get charged somewhere. Oh, <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so you see, uh, let, let's just dive right into the video be before the, the, the cops show up. All right, so we're just gonna start off with some cranberry. So you might think, oh, cranberry is so expensive, blah, 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 inflation. Well, you know what? I got a substitute. Strawberries. Yeah, they, they have they have they have berry in the name. Cranberry, strawberry. Plus, strawberries are better. So to make your cranberry, you just gotta <laughs> just just get your strawberries and put them in your blender. You're gonna add as many strawberries as you want. Then I'm just gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. Toby! Ah! Ooh, ooh, I made it! Let's go, cool, I made it! Yeah, I'm cool, yeah! Fuck! Now that I got your strawberries in here, then you just put them on the blender. But hold up! These strawberries are whole. They're the whole berry. They're not cranberry at all. So I got a solution. Damn it. It's so hard to open these shitty pot. So this right here is my secret ingredient. Do not tell anyone what it is. <laughs> that is liquefied Viagra. Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna uh, pour your, your magical li liquid. Once you got your mixture right here, there's gonna be another secret ingredient. Bananas. What the fuck? It's even fucking juicy now. What the hell? Uh. Uh. Ew. Uh. uh I'll be right back. Ew, 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 ew. Ah, ew, that's disgusting. Ah, uh, that's all over my hands. Oh, ew, ew. Uh, 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 so, anyways, uh, so, so yeah, uh, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Cut it. This is a smoothie. It's not a smoothie. It's cranberries. Uh, cranberries have bananas, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now that you got your little concoction over here, you're just gonna shake it up a little bit. 
<laughs> Alright, so it's, it's all shaken up now. Now you can put it in the blender. Here we go. And you just uh, let it rip. <laughs> Why is it not working? So there's your cranberry. <laughs> uh, so, so you might think it's just a little bit too liquidy. Th that's normal cranberry. Uh, I promise. All right. Now the last step is to put your little cranberry sauce in the bowl. Uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> it smells delicious! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, just look at that! Now we're just missing one main thing. Delicious. <laughs> and, and that's how you make the perfect cranberry. Now let's go to the other thing. Yeah. Okay, so for your mashed potatoes, you're basically just gonna need some potato chips because, you know, it has potato in the name, so potato chips. And potato chips are just better than mashed potatoes in general. So what you're gonna get is just a big handful of these chips. And yeah. Wait a minute. These are not potato chips. They're plantain chips? Who the fuck bought these? You're literally the one who bought those. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm, I feel like something's missing. Duh, of course. Delicious. Uh, so we're gonna let that marinate for a little bit, and then... Fucking cars? So yeah, we're just gonna let that marinate, and and while we, while we do that, uh, we're just gonna cook some other stuff. Now we're gonna make a delicious pie. Now this one is super easy. You just need two ingredients. A piece of paper and the marker. So what you wanna what you're gonna do is um, basically open up the marker and just gotta do this, this, and that. And there you go, a delicious pie. Hmm, so good. Ah, our holiday feast is coming together. But wait a minute. We have cranberry, we have mashed potatoes, kind of, and we have a pie. But I feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Oh, that's right, the turkey. Now for the main course, the turkey. This. Just like the pie, it's actually very simple. Like so many people think, oh, cooking a turkey is so hard. Oh, you have to do all this stuffing and all that shit. 
No, you don't have to do that because I have the best solution ever. Bam! Like, yeah. Of course it's Lunchables. Like, look at that. It says turkey and cheddar. It literally says turkey right on the name. So it's turkey. It's perfect. And with that, our feast is complete. Now you can just serve this up to your family and have a great old time. Or they're probably gonna get food poisoning. Yeah. Now let's taste it. Hello everybody, it's SonicBoy54 here. And today I'm gonna be trying out these meals that Cuphead just cooked up in this video. And he's definitely not ho holding a gunpoint at me right now. Uh, uh, I didn't say that. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't say that. I was just joking. <laughs> so to begin with, we got cranberry. So this just consists of strawberries. Uh, it, it, it's, it's cranberries, it's not strawberries at all. Even though you literally just put strawberries in the meal. Okay, so we're just gonna try it out. Mmm, delicious. It's not bad, it's just that the banana. Yeah, the banana's just not doing it well. And there's still some chocolate the strawberry in it. Start with, with the crackers. The crackers is a little bit better, but still not very good. So for the cranberry, I'll just give it like a six, maybe five and a half. It's not bad, it's edible, but it's just not good. Now we're gonna try out the mashed potatoes, which I have no idea how this is mashed potatoes. I'm not complaining, at least uh, uh, I like I like pickles. Pickle juice is not bad. It's not like I drink it in a daily basis, but like, it's not bad. Oh yeah, you're soggy. Honestly, this is better than the cranberry. The only downside of this is just kind of soggy. Mm. But overall, I'll give it like a seven. No, the seven is too high. Maybe like a six and a half. Not bad. Now for the pie, which is literally a piece of paper. Mmm, the pie is delicious. Uh, it's good. Uh, it, this is my favorite. A uh, uh, ten out of ten. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Now for the turkey, which is just lunchables. Now don't get mad at me. I have never eaten a whole lunchable. I I don't. And I, I never did that. So let's try it out. So, we got the crackers, of course. The cheese, which is... I don't, know, I don't really like the cheese, except for mozzarella, that's just good. And the main element, the turkey. Slimy, I don't like it. Mmm, let's try it out. Since this is my first lunch bowl, like I've actually eaten, it's it's not bad. It's like just basically ham and cheese with crackers. Not bad. So the lunch bowls, I'll give it like like a seven. It's not bad. This is good. It's just ham and cheese with crackers on it. Not bad. So overall, this whole meal, I'll give it like a six. Uh, yeah, it's edible, but like, I wouldn't eat this in Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> it's a, this meal is 10 out of 10. It's, it's, it's good. I would definitely feed this to my family. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should definitely make these 
No, no, you shouldn't do that. I'm sorry, I just got a, I just got a, a little more cough. Mm, but, but yeah, uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Honestly, these, these, these chips are like the best thing ever. Oh, too soggy at this point. They're not too soggy.